Well, summer is still in full swing, but it's already time for you to start planning those fall classes. And a nice thing about taking summer camps and classes at the Patel Conservatory is that learning doesn't have to stop when summer ends. To share more is Alice Santana. She's the Vice President of Education and Community Engagement. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you again for having me. Summer's going well so far? Oh yes, hectic, but tons of fun in the building. Yes. It's my favorite season. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> so much going on. So let's talk a little bit about the fall because mm -hmm. summer is coming to an end quickly, which is yeah. so hard to believe. Oh yeah, we're already on week nine, but no one's counting, right? No one's counting. <laughs> we're gonna make it last as long as we possibly can. But what kind of fall classes can we look forward to? During the fall season, we do kick off all of of our year-long programming across all three disciplines of music, theater, and dance. So students, once again, of all ages can look at our intro beginning type of classes like our baby ballerinas or our Suzuki violin classes. And we also still have our courses that are more for our seasoned students like our theater musical productions, our um, chamber classes, our vocal arts programming, as well as our next generation ballet pre-professional ballet program. There's lots of, yes. from A to Z, on different things that uh -huh. you can do. As young as three years old. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about ages, yeah. because who can participate? What ages are we talking about? We offer classes of all ages, and when I say all ages, all ages. We even have adult programming at the conservatory, so if you want to get back into the arts or you want to dabble a bit, there's also programming for you. Um, we start as young as three years old, like I said, with a lot of our beginner ballet program classes as well as our Suzuki violin classes. And then as you go through the system, a lot for early elementary, middle school, and high school. Do you find that you can come at any age? You don't necessarily have to start at three. You could start at 13. Yes. So we really do take a look at all of our course offerings and find different entry points for each of our age groups. What advice would you have for parents that are wanting to get their kids into some of these classes about how to pick the right one? How do you know what would be good for your child? I always recommend checking out our website, our brochure, but also coming on site and attending one of our two open houses that take place throughout the year. So right now those are going to be scheduled August 8th at 6 p.m. and August 12th at 9 a.m. And during this time you get an overview of the conservatory itself, get to meet our department leaders and also take a sample class with us. So that'll be a great opportunity for your kid who's not quite sure which of the three disciplines they're interested in or maybe they're interested in all of them, mm -hmm. this will be a great chance to see and interact. And to get as a parent involved in it and to know what your kids are going to be going through is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and then you'll be able to tour our spaces, see the classrooms, get to know our teachers one-on-one, -on -one. and we do our best to really cater to what our students are interested in. So it's definitely a great opportunity just to get to know us and really see what the different programs entail. So you brought up teachers. Let's talk yes. about the teachers that you have there. <laughs> what kind of teachers do you have? Um, we have teaching artists in all disciplines and active artists, as I like to say. All of them either come with us with a long background in performing themselves, degrees in each of their disciplines, and are still actively performing throughout the year. That's fantastic. That has to be such a great experience a teacher-student experience because they're actually living it. Yes, definitely. And we're all about getting our students um, as much access to real life experiences as possible. And what better way to know that they have a teacher who has gone through this themselves and can really guide them through if this is something that they're interested in taking um, to a professional level. Yeah, absolutely. They know the steps to get there. They know the mm -hmm. hard work that it takes. So it's much easier mm -hmm. being in and to stay in it too. Yes. Right, as a working professional, you can't just quit practicing and quit you know, really developing your craft, that has to be great experience to pass along in these classes. Oh yes, and another thing that I always like to point out that's unique about the Patel Conservatory compared to other schools is because our space is physically attached to the Strass Center and all of their theaters, we have the opportunity from time to time to bring in guest artists from the touring shows to work with our students. And that's really a unique opportunity to really get a professional in their classroom. That's awesome, that's so wonderful to have that. So let's talk about scholarships, there's some available? Yes, yes there's tons of scholarship money available. I always tell any and everyone who's just thinking about coming to the conservatory, please just apply through our financial aid. You never know what you may qualify for. We really do give away over $300,000 a year in scholarships just to make sure that everyone can come and take any class that they may be interested in. Definitely check it out if you're interested in that. Patel Conservatory is fully accredited. Yes. Why is that important to point out? For us, it's very important to say that we are an accredited institution because what that means is that our curriculum, our classes, our institution institution has been evaluated by the same accrediting body that other public schools in the area follow. We're currently accredited under Cognia and their group comes in and really facilitates and looks at everything and reviews it to make sure that we are following uh, core standards in the arts. 
wonderful. Thank you so much for coming by to talk to us about this. If you're interested in the summer camps and interested in fall camps, be sure to check out patelconservatory.org because the fall classes are starting soon. Yes, August 28th. Get on there and get signed up as soon as possible. Alice, thank you so much. It was great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.